there's another movie out? Yeah, so where I work is right in front of Scotia Theater. So oh, like, if I look wonderful. out the window, it's Mark Wahlberg's face that's like this big. I wonder what like movie, actually, because I'm a huge Mac w- Mark Wahlberg fan. So he has a movie with, uh, I forgot the lady's name, British lady. She was an X-Men. Anyways, and it's like basically they're adopting uh, a kid. But what they don't know is they're adopting three kids because this kid has a sibling. And it's uh, apparently hilarious. It's very wholesome. You might oh, know it's one of those. One of the, instant family. Instant family. Yeah, hey, I'm down with that. Yeah, because of his last movie, dude, this guy cranks up movies. Yeah, he's yeah. making movies. I've, <laughs> you know what? He he has a routine. He's like, oh, it's, it's an odd action number. movie. Time to make three movies. Yeah. You know, like every odd number year or something. Yeah, that's true. He'll make an action movie. Then he'll make a funny family movie. You're right. And then he'll make a. Then he'll make another action movie. I think he does two action movies per family funny movie. That's pro- um, there's probably a formula just exactly yeah. that complicated. <laughs> have you <laughs> have you seen have you seen um, Chris D'Elia do Mark Wahlberg? Yeah, it's no, it's hilarious. Adam Sandberg is hilarious. Have you seen uh, Adam Sandberg? Oh yeah, 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 talking to animals. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> hey, goat, you're a goat, huh? How? What's that about? <laughs> I like that. <laughs> say hi, say hi to my to your mother for me. Yeah. Say hi to your mother for me, and it sounds just like it was like yeah, that's the kind of shit he'd say. Uh, hey hey chicken everyone's trying to eat you i just want to hang out with you (laughs) (laughs) me and you should do a movie Mm, he could probably make a movie with it i want to see how bad the rock could try to like sabotage his career i wonder what's in the realm of possibility dude have you have you have you watched the greatest movie he's done in the last two years two because like at this point he makes so many movies um skyscraper I didn't watch Skyscraper. My father watched Skyscraper. How was Skyscraper? You know, it's the same old, right? Yeah. You know, yeah. he used to be on a SWAT team. Something went wrong. <laughs> They've got to explain him, right? Like, why, why is he why this is he big back? and an accountant? <laughs> well, he used to be a Navy SEAL or right? whatever. So, a guy does a suicide bomb, but he's not Muslim. So, that's refreshing. That's refreshing. <clears throat> Thank you. You know, uh, loses his leg. Yeah. That's them going out of their way, by the way. Right. They yeah. don't have to do that. <laughs> they didn't have to do <laughs> They're that. like, we don't have to do this, you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then uh and then you know uh cut to a couple years after mm-hmm. you know he's uh he's getting ready he's wearing he's putting on a suit right right uh he's and then you know if eventually pans down and he's trying to he's putting on his uh his fake uh oh his he's fake got leg. a prosthetic leg he's got a prosthetic leg yeah right. like you how know. you call it a fake leg <laughs> <laughs> prosthetic leg and then yeah. you know uh pans out even more right. he walks out of the washroom and bam he's a family man mm. he's got a wife he's got a daughter and he's like nervous about this meeting that's going to happen. Yeah. I mean, just two years ago, he was shooting fools in the forehead. Mm-hmm. But right now, it's a, it's a business meeting yeah. and he's nervous about it. Damn. Do you know why? Why? Because this will help his family. Oh. For him, he was just helping himself. He was helping right. the country. I do this all day. I was hoping day. you're like, because the meeting is with Iraqis. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, uh, and then, you know... Some crazy people want some stuff in the in the in, in the skyscraper. Mm-hmm. The skyscraper has got like a uh, really high oh, dude, technology. You don't have to explain the the trailer. The rest of it. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of it goes as planned. <laughs> exactly. And why does he do it for? For his family. For his family. It seems like it's a. This is a family oriented. He really likes family, eh? Yeah. I want. With... I want to watch a movie with him and a squirrel. <laughs> you know like i just i do i want to pretty much want to watch him with anything right like it'd be it'd be like the 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 crazier the co-star the the more interest i have like right. if it's him opposite anthony hopkins mm. i watch the See, shit that, out would, of that, that would be cool I, even if it was funny yeah drama thriller right. or horror I am on board. That's In fact, true. he could make all four movies with Anthony Within, Hopkins and I would watch I all of them. I think you could. I think the range is there. <laughs> Anthony Hopkins is a good choice of like how awkward of a person can you yeah. put him like, against. And I want his name to be The Rock. I yeah. want that. And I don't want it to be addressed at any point. <laughs> Rock. <laughs> you know? Like, <laughs> he has a job. And he, uh, man. That'd be cool, man. I'm saying, because like, Jim Carrey was at his peak, and then they made Cable Guy. They're like, they tested. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, how, how much can you knock a guy down? That was horrible. Cable Guy was bad? I never watched yeah, it. Yeah, it was, it was, don't even bother. I'm not going to waste any of your time explaining <laughs> it. He's a Cable Guy. Right, okay, fair enough. And he does his, like, you know, loud noises and faces mm. and stuff. Doesn't go over. Very dark. Yeah. Yeah. So, I'd be cool if I could watch, like... Oh, The Rock in a silent movie, and it'll probably gross like nine hundred million dollars or some shit. He could do it. Yeah, 
You know what's funny? What? So I, I, I dived medium level into the the feud between The Rock and um, Vin, Diesel. Vin Diesel. Right, I heard about this. <laughs> and so what I've learned is this. Mm -hmm. uh, Vin Diesel thinks he's top shit. Mm -hmm. um, a little bit of a diva. Mm -hmm. Shows up on set late or whatever it is. He's got these things. It's you're not, not just, well documented. You, it's but, well do you're not just talking shit about Vin Diesel. No. Vin Diesel. Yeah, it's Vin Diesel. All right. Yeah. Cool. So because the thing is, is that, you know, maybe he will show up on time for other movies, mm -hmm. but when it's fast, if it's part of the Fast series, right. he feels like he's a little bit of the Godfather type situation. Mm -hmm. And so, um, you know, The Rock didn't like that. Mm -hmm. The Rock is hardest hardest working man in the room, and he doesn't like the way of the attitude of this so called leader. Yeah. So there was like some some side shots, some subliminal messages via Instagram and all this other stuff. And then after they said that they worked it out and they didn't work it out, but this is the <laughs> interesting thing over here is this. Like in more recent interviews, they would The Rock would get asked that question, and he'd be like, he he will try to avoid it mm -hmm. or just work his way around the question. And then if you, if you see some of like the Twitter posts done by Vin Diesel about this whole situation, he's trying to position himself as if he's like a movie elder mm. of like you know I've been doing this for a while and yeah. like I really want to see the Rock grow. Like he's one of that's what he's positioning himself as sort of like a like a Jedi of the 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 movie game, right? Right, the action movie game because yeah. he has like this established. Doesn't one seem like it would come one off franchise. Well. No, it doesn't. It, it it comes off. I think uh, you know. I used to love Vin Diesel, but as a result of these weird ass twit like tweets and whatnot, mm -hmm. I think of a little less of them. Damn. So what happened is he kept on also because he was kind of feeling like you know he wants to keep control about the situation, all that other stuff. And then you know when they got when they got what's his name Jason Statham come in. Mm -hmm who's arguably one of the coolest bad guys that they have in the series. Yeah, man. What's not to like. Right. Right. Um, and then you had The Rock. And it's, when you have, like, it literally goes by like hierarchy. Mm -hmm. Now The Rock is bigger than Vin. Yeah. <laughs> and then The Rock is like, hey, why don't we go for a, a spinoff? Just me and Statham. Just me and Statham. And he's breaking up the family, quote unquote. But I don't know. You know, if there's if there's an option there to make another Fast and the Furious movie, you should go for it. I think he owns. I think he's a he was a producer. On he's the a last producer. One. He's an executive producer. So I think they need his green light. Maybe. Yeah, but like I think they can also like that doesn't mean you're top gun. That just means that if you can get enough power, money? like pull from some other yeah. way, you can you can you have to do it, dude. At the end of the day, if it makes money, they'll make it. It won't I know, have... but I feel like there's some feelings that are getting hurt, right? Yeah. Because like what they're doing is they're going out and they're doing their own like their own movie mm -hmm. that's that's tied to the Fast and Furious franchise, right. but it's only them two. Yeah, and Vin still is going to make his money, but Tyrese is sitting there going, "Hey man, I can only do this movie." Yeah, that's can all we I not... got now. <laughs> <laughs> and true. so he's getting he's getting all pouty he's like yo you're breaking up the family mm -hmm. now nah, man i'm just making money moves <laughs> yeah i'm making movies <laughs> yeah yeah with jason stay though yeah why don't you get another job right or learn how to kick yeah or dance or sing you used to sing right let's just keep god going or something yeah apparently he still does i don't think it do very well it don't do very well he looks the same yeah he is a vampire yeah I think The Rock should make a movie with Jason Statham. For Everything's sure. getting old anyways. For sure. How long are you going to keep making the same? The thing is. What? I, I watched a little bit of Fast and Furious 1. Okay, yeah. And uh, I feel like there's a little bit of the soul of the original that is completely lost in the, like, after 4. Yeah. Like. Of anything almost. Yeah. But there's, especially there's nothing, this. There's nothing left. Yeah. Right no. back then it was, it felt like a tuner. Right. Like it, you, if you were a car geek, you still got a little bit out of it. Right. right. Because even in the, <laughs> like it was a lot of, how do I say this? There was a lot of how authentic, authentic car loving things in that first movie. Mm. Those, the car meets, which was actual a thing that was happening. Yeah. Um, the desert drag races and all this other stuff. These are all actual events that mm. are within the car community. And then they put it on the movie and then all of a sudden it became a thing. Like, you know, it gained like legitimacy and like this was cool because you could see the stuff that we were doing, mm -hmm. like the community was doing on, on film. Mm -hmm. And then now it's just like 
tanks and cars no, pulling safes and like you know uh, pretend like, racing like, you know they, he's taking a car from one building and then launching it across <laughs> into another building yeah it's not even fast and the furious anymore it's like heist it's like yeah, fast it's exactly heist. yeah most of them that's exactly it there's yeah. no you know what we what would be really cool mm-hmm. if vin diesel was smart i hope you're listening vin diesel I used to like you. And the thing is, is that like, I, I watch all of the movies. I watch Triple X. I watch Triple X, the you second didn't have to do X. that. And then, you didn't have to do that. I didn't but have you to did, do that. Because you like him. Yes. You were like, I'm going to support this guy. Right. And, and it was Triple X was on, was on Netflix. So I, I watched I watched the whole thing. Yeah. Right. And I watched the third one too. He also needs to understand where he is in his timeline. Exactly. This ain't pitch black time. No. Right? You ain't new. No. No. We've no. seen you, man. And also, the thing we is... We saw is, you make that witch movie. Oh, my God. <laughs> I watched that, that too. I watched yeah, that I watched too. that shit, too. That was horrible. <laughs> so the Witch bad. Hunter or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Terrible. Yeah. That's it, how you kill a career before it starts for that <laughs> Rose girl. Friggin' the girl that married Jon Snow. She was on that. Oh, she was? Yeah. Nobody oh. remembers. It's such a bad movie. Yeah, it was a really bad movie. But anyway, what he, what he could have done mm-hmm. is do another... Like, you could do a throwback movie... Mm. like so set in like 1997 98 yeah which would be really cool to see because all of us who have grown up with with fast and furious Mm -hmm. if you watch a movie that is not because it's it's a weird time like 1996 97 what do you do about paul walker not being there no you'd have to i don't know work a way around it whatever but like you're you're visiting to you know you're visiting whatever it doesn't matter mexico but the thing is, is that they already done that movie. Oh, uh, yeah, they did. <laughs> <laughs> right? But you would get old cars. You would get like a retro vibe. You would get like a quieter, cool hmm. uh, movie, but like true to the true to the original. Right. And I think that would be cool. But whatever. You know what? All it is is like they're they just making pounds they're of just, money. I don't think. Like, liter- like they, can't, they can't even count the money. They just weigh it. Yeah. And <laughs> and that's that's, why what, that's how much make, money they make. They'll make this Rock Jason stay the movie. Yeah, for sure. Because every now and then Venu's like, eh, I want to buy an island. <laughs> you know? Or whatever. I don't know what they do with their money. Yeah. And you know, uh, the Rock is still fit as can be. I, oh, he's fitter than yeah. ever. He's getting fitter right now as we speak. He's as getting speaking, fitter. He's, he's working out. Yeah. yeah. His forearm's getting like one extra like muscle as we're talking right now. <laughs> oh, what a beast. And he's focused on it. <laughs> he's looking at it right now, making it happen. <laughs> he's willing it. Yeah, he's I making c- sure he's getting bigger right now. I command you to grow. Yeah. Actually, that's an actual... Uh, what's that guy What's that guy who was doing that? There was a guy who was doing that. Viagra commercials? No, no, no. <laughs> Nice, bro. I'm sorry. Hey, good swing. Well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> we keep going. Uh, um, what's that black guy who works out that yells a lot? Okay. Uh, is he in the Old Spice commercials? No, no, no. That's Terry Crews. That's Terry Crews. No. I'm that talk- yells a lot? That's yeah. a lot of black guys. I uh, know. Samuel L. Jackson? No, no, no. He's like a YouTube sensation. Um, oh. If it's DC, a- Fletcher, uh, TC, DC Fletcher? Oh, yes. Yeah, I think it is DC yeah. Fletcher. The okay. workout guy. Yeah, the workout yeah. guy. Yeah. Well, I said he works out a lot. <laughs> yeah, I know. But a lot of guys work. I didn't realize he was oh, okay. the, like, the that's his thing. Guy. He works yeah. out. So there was one, he was doing like bicep curls <laughs> and he was yelling at his bicep oh, going, man. I command you to grow. <laughs> yeah, that's insane. That's not how biceps work. Yeah, but, but it's fun to watch. It is fun to watch. Mm. It's fun to watch any crazy person, man. I don't know if he's crazy. I think he's... Uh... Uh, okay. It's fun to watch any except, like really eccentric yeah, 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 person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I yeah, you. any of these... Uh... Super weird dudes. Yeah. Like Johnny Depp, I don't know if you heard, he got fired from Pirates of the Caribbean yesterday. Yes, yes. I don't know what that means, fired. That, that, just that, that just puts him out of his misery. I think he's happy about it. Yeah. He can't make another movie, although he's probably in debt. Yeah, he's apparently in massive debt. Yeah. So apparently he spends... That actually might have might have worked against him. But he was making... Like, how much was he spending? Like $10,000 a month on wine? Yo, brother, it doesn't work that way. It doesn't go like, hey, since I don't have a job, I can't spend this wine money. That guy wasn't caring if it was coming in. It's, it's a big problem. I mean, you know, but who's going to do... See, You can't have another Jack Sparrow. Yeah, but do we even need one? You know what? They But they killed they Barbosa. They stop that whole shit. They should just stop. Yeah, yeah, just we're done with this. Stop the whole thing, please. That's, that's, the better, that's the better solution. Yeah, and if you want to start, just restart it with everybody being different. You do have like a good star. Like you got Kira Knightley. You can still figure things out if you wanted to, but come on, guys. It's been way too long. I would like just a movie with Orlando Bloom. I'm a fan of the uh, the uh, of the Bloom. You know what, Orlando Bloom? Really, I thought after Lord of the Rings, yeah, this guy's gonna be around. Yeah, he he's not really around as much as you'd think he would be. Yeah, but he's got that Lord of the Rings money though. Maybe I think he's made. Play. Yeah, and then after it's he was in the movies, Hob- man, he was in the Hobbit as well. That's one. 
uh, two, isn't it? Isn't that over like 20 years or some shit? Yeah, hold on a second. Wait, 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 hold on. Oh, we, 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 can, we can fix, we can sort this out. All we need to do is figure, figure out how much Orlando Bloom made for Lord of the Rings. Well, yeah, that. Okay, hold on. Because I don't think that's that much. I'd like to believe it's a lot, though. That, and he got, he was hot. People were into that elf. Like girls, they were like, ooh, elf. He's so smooth. I mean, sorry, it autocorrected to Caribbean. I wonder what that was, too. Movie Mojo would have it. A few other places would have it as well. Mm, well. Anyway, let's have a look. Oh, he was offered only 250000 as compensation. That's what I'm saying. However, once the films were killing at the box office and the rest of the cast all received hefty bonuses, Elijah Wood said to have made $1 million just for the two-minute appearance in The Hobbit. That's awesome. Interesting. So what did like a loose... I mean, sorry. What did... Sorry, hold <laughs> on. Blue I'm, working, I'm working on it. It's not a mm. just talk into it, man. No, I mean like yeah, I'm looking through the 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 stuff over here. Okay, no problem. Yeah, it, it's not gonna. It's okay, right. Google. How much did Orlando Bloom made for Lord of the Rings? Here's what I found. What you find? It's like the same site that <laughs> I was on. It's the exact same thing you were yeah. on. <laughs> it's just not working. Oh, well, so sorry. That's fine. No, it's, it isn't. No, it's not. I really want to have this answer. I know, man. I'm sorry, dude. He uh, was in Troy. Wow, he's listed as uh, some person who is... Re I don't think his thing, his thing flopped, though. Like, I think he did okay. He's just... You just don't hear about him. You just don't hear about him. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> I because think as an actor, that's the whole point, though. That's fine. Wait, hold on. I'm just going to do Orlando Bloom net worth. It's probably a fair bit. What would you say? I would probably say like 50 million. And if they say more. You, you would. Okay, so you're guessing 50 million. Also, is he married to. Did you say 50 million? Yeah. 35 mil. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah. That's not a ton of money. Mm, no. It's not a ton of money. He's been acting for a minute. Yeah. Yo, he's in one of my favorite movies from, like, favorite unknown movies. Mm. There's a movie called Haven. Mm. It's it's about the Canary Islands. Okay. It's one of those islands that, that are, like, tax refuge. Sure. Or whatever it's called. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's a great movie. I can't, mm. I, I, you know what? It's been so long, I can't quite remember it, but he's just the kid in this, and he's really good. Mm. Yeah, I really like that movie. King Kingdom of Heaven, dude. That, Great that, movie. that was that was spectacular. Yeah. You know, uh Troy? He Troy? Was, he was in Troy apparently. He was good. Yeah, I remember Troy. I remember him being in it. Yeah. Eric Bana or something. Yeah, freaking Brad Pitt looking great in that movie. Brad, Brad Pitt freaking Brad looked, Pitt looked fantastic. When, when Brad Pitt looks good, he looks all the like. way good. <laughs> That guy looks great when he looks good. <laughs> yeah, it's it's blistering. It's like looking at the yeah, sun. Yeah, it's just like, jeez, ah, Brad Pitt, why are you doing this? Can you at least close your eyes so the blue doesn't... Uh, yeah, he's... Uh, yeah. Even in Fight Club, the guy was just in oh, such great shape. Yeah, and when he would like... Yeah. We like we, he's, I mean, it's just... <clears throat> like a lightning strike <laughs> of an ab. Right? The middle... It's, it's too so much, much, Brad so Pitt. So much. Oh, just breathe in, Brad. <laughs> Can't stop, can't stop staring, Brad. Can you relax a second? Can you yeah. can your midsection relax for a second? So I can breathe, <laughs> right? Yeah, it's true. Yeah, Brad Pitt looks all the. Nobody else looks like. I know Tom Cruise can look good, but he's not looking that good. No. Nobody else is looking. No. Yeah. No. Tom, Tom Cruise is fit. Brad, Brad Pitt, like you need to squint. Yeah, you're just like, oh. <laughs> like what? Why am yeah. I? Why am I getting feelings? Yeah. It's different because you see The Rock all the time. And you're like, wow, that is a big man. Yeah. But it's, you don't... Rock is... I'm, I'm Like if somebody like handmade a car is what I look like. I'm like, that is a lot of hard work. <laughs> you know? That is... That guy's on top of his macros and shit. Yeah. Like that guy's waking up at night to eat. Yeah. So he's on top of his food. So I'm just yeah. like, that's a lot of hard work. I love his uh, his cheat meals. It's like, yeah, here's a plate of cookies. Yeah. Just a whole plate of cookies. It's, and he makes a sandwich out of the cookies. He puts peanut butter in between it. It's amazing. That is something. Yeah, but he also eats clean, like a very clean diet yeah. for the rest of the seven days. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm sure. And this is what I would like to think is if I start getting into money, I start doing that yeah. and then I can make it snowball. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I feel like that's what I would do, start start coming into money. 
I, I'm just like meal prep. Somebody needs to do my meal prep. Yeah. I think that one of the first things of like, the first things that I would do when I get, if inshallah, I mean, I get to a place where I can afford like outside help mm -hmm. would be definitely a chef. Yeah. I like how you go with chef instead of meal plan. You know. You're making it a lot more than, uh, <laughs> you're, you're going mean, right to that level. I don't want to, yeah, exactly. You're not getting food delivered. Somebody's coming over and making food here and then you're eating it. I mean, that would be ideal, right? Right. Total, not really. Well, okay. Because I don't, I don't need to. You just don't want another house. human in your yeah, house? Yeah. Making food for me. I got to make, like, just, I just would like a nice meal to be delivered and I'll eat it. No, I'm good with someone. I'm sure you are, man. Yeah. God bless you. Hopefully it works out. Like, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I want I just, in the future to come over to my... Asian too. I don't know why. No, I wouldn't. I mean, you know. Like, I don't know. Why do I mean, you hate I, Asians? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, I wouldn't focus specifically. I mean, if it happens to be, if it happens to be a great chef that's Asian, that's not a problem. Yeah. But what my brain did mm -hmm. was immediately went like, when you said Asian, I'm like, I pictured an Asian chef mm -hmm. and an Asian chef that I see are always in a sushi restaurant. And I immediately went, I don't feel like eating sushi every day. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's how that, that's how that worked in my Interesting. head in a I split like second right there. I like your brain. Yeah. Cool. If I come into money, yeah, I'd go with like a, a, a lot of physical fitness shit. I'd have definitely like food on demand, like healthy food. I'd have a trainer because I do and it yeah. works. Yeah. And then uh, I'd be just doing like cryotherapy all the time. Yeah, yeah, I'd be yeah, doing yeah. acupuncture for no reason. Just <laughs> walking around with needle hanging out of me. <laughs> we would essentially live like Joe Rogan. Uh, maybe. Yeah. Not exactly. Not exactly because I wouldn't be doing stand up no it's not that it's just like his level of physical what you would call it is absolutely stupid like that's not a, a actual expectation of almost any human whose job isn't being fit yeah so he's extremely unusual in that sense yeah but he, he works out so he, he he keeps his crazy down yeah he works out hours a day yeah i know he's a competition right now but even without that yeah, he right. would work out hours a day yeah <laughs> Right. So all right. Not that level, but close. Essentially, yeah. well, because, and like he, I'm just, I'm just tying in the whole cryo plus like a float. scientist. Yeah. Like him and Rhonda Patrick share notes, and I'm like, yeah, that's not normal either at all in the slightest. Right. And he's raising children all this time. Yeah. He's he worked out six hours yesterday, according to his podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I listened to it. Too. Did None you listen? Of this sounds. <laughs> Did you listen to the? Uh, it was the Joey Diaz one, right? Yeah, I listened to the Joey. Oh one. man, you know what? How many things yeah. did Joey do in his lifetime? I've listened to at least 10 episodes mm -hmm. of three hour a piece of Joey. <laughs> and this episode, I find out that he was a volunteer fireman. Yeah. He was a house sitter. Yeah. And then he explained how at some point during that time, the, the, the scheme on how to get cocaine. Mm -hmm. same, same podcast that he talked about going to prison. And all of that as well. Oh. The guy's had a very colorful life. It's a few lives. But I think... Uh, so much packed into that one 55-year-old man, dude. I think if you like get a, any prisoner that has a criminal record, you'll yeah. get a lot of these stories. Just not funny. He'll just be like... Because some of these things are horrible. Even on this podcast, he was like... This girl I went to high school with, she came and she was, yeah. she was like, you got to help me. There's a guy in the car and he won't let me leave. Bitch, I don't know you. <laughs> bitch, I don't even know you. I haven't seen this bitch in a minute. Yeah, but he was looking for cocaine during that time. So you could easily say that it was just, uh, it was it was the cocaine. Yeah, he has a Netflix special out. Yeah, I'm going to watch it soon. You watched Patriot Act? You didn't watch Patriot Act? I haven't watched just it. I'm sorry, dude. That's okay. You know what I'm on right now? What? I'm on Fargo. It is fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I believe you. It is a really great show. That is very really good, good TV. Yeah. That is very good TV. What put me over the top? It's always been on my list. Let's just do a podcast, and it was uh, what's his name, the guy from Big Mouth, mm. and he was he was saying in his opinion, Mulroney or whatever. No, no, no. Um, the uglier guy. <laughs> I mean, he looks a little weird, don't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know yeah. what you're talking about. Um, he was saying in his opinion, some of the best TVs ever watched. Oh, yeah. So I'm like, all right, I'll, I'll give it a shot. Yeah. Dude, it is fantastic. Fargo. Yeah, it's really good. Okay. Uh, not not hard to get into at all. So anyone who's listening, if you're looking for a new TV show uh, to binge, Netflix, Fargo, spectacular. I don't, I don't, I, like, if if you like, 
if you like good TV, hmm, they, you know. Yeah. If you like shitty TV, then don't watch no. Fargo. But no. like, if you like, I, I mean, I'm not going to compare it to Breaking Bad or anything yeah. like that. But it's it's up there as like at, at the very least my top 15 shows. It's very very good. How far how deep are you into this thing? I'm almost done the first season. Damn, how many seasons are there? I believe there's three or four. That's not that bad. That's the perfect time to get into a show. Yeah. Plus, Christmas is coming up, and what does uh, that mean? What? What does that mean? Yeah, you have a lot of time off. Ah. Yeah, a lot of time off. Okay. Right? And then, you know, the weather's not so great, so you got to be inside more often. Dude, I knew a girl that every Christmas would watch, uh, according to her, like 20 Disney movies. That's what she would do in her time off. Like Really? Yeah. But that's wonderful. Doesn't that sound amazing? That sounds great. <laughs> and she actually said it to me like this. She's like, I want to tell you something, and it's a little embarrassing. Yeah. And then she tells me this. Yeah. Like, that's awesome. <laughs> what do you want to watch? <laughs> can you join? Yeah. It sounds fantastic. You wear jammies while doing it? Like, how can you, right? how can you make this what's, any better? What's the food situation? She was embarrassed. That's nothing to be embarrassed about. In fact, yeah. that should, you should lead with that. Yeah, you should totally lead <laughs> that with should, that. That, might, should be, that should be one of your first, within your first five minutes of conversation. Definitely. Just throw that in there. Yeah, because the guy doesn't want to be judgmental about how much TV they watch. No. Yeah, you know, like right. it's it's because guys would watch sports, right? We watch Dude, we watch cage fighting. Yeah, we watch. Ca- I I've, I've watched like six episodes of Lost back to back to back to back. Oh wow, Lost. Yeah, I don't, I don't at, even at the judge time myself. Of, yeah, at the time at the time of watching Lost, you were like, oh yeah, great show, right. Lost. I saw the logo on the tail of a shark in those three frames. Let me go online mm-hmm. and shitty internet. Back in the day, where it was like it wasn't Alta Vista, but it was it was Yahoo. You just assumed, and that then these you were like, going to connect, to googling, and then you're like, okay, so this means this, yeah. and then the clock, and then the number, and then also all this stuff. I I hated the payoff. The the people should have lit things on fire. If that show was on today on Netflix, mm-hmm. it would not. But like when you release it one episode at a time over like eight years, yeah, and just people like crack oh, fiends, okay. just, yeah, just, it's like you'll you'll go along. But yeah. if like they release it all once and one person watches, like hey. It stops making sense, guys. <laughs> Don't watch it. <laughs> yeah, and you're like, oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that would have stopped it would have stopped in this tracks, man. Yeah, it's true. You are correct. But anyway, all right, dude. What? Favorite <laughs> what? Favorite Disney movie. Favorite Disney movie. Uh, top tough. 3, top 3. I'll give I can <laughs> give you my favorite, but then it's like going to be, "Oh, this movie's also a Disney. uh Lion King." Okay. Yeah. Mm, fair enough. It's a classic. Yeah, I'd have to I ha- Great I would soundtrack. I would have to agree. So many references to be made, you know. Yeah, I I learned what a stampede was. Oh, you, you didn't know? I I had never really understood what a stampede was. Yeah, I just thought it was like the rodeo itself or something. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, are you looking up greatest Disney movies of all time? No, no, no. Are you looking up Cowboys versus Aliens? Is that what you're doing over there? <laughs> that's not, that's not a Disney movie, bro. No, but there was another horrible movie that came out at the same time um where this dude like went to another planet and he could jump really high there oh yeah uh john carter yeah something like that john john carter I'm pretty i think sure. it is john carter yeah, yeah yeah that was a disney movie yeah why do i have that still in my brain that was an expensive movie yeah apparently it looks like an avatar like an avatar clone. somebody wrote it gave it to another guy he also liked it yeah they looked at the cast list they're like yeah these are good people <laughs> And they made that piece of shit happen. <laughs> hey, I, didn't, I, didn't, I did not watch that. All right, what's your number two? Uh, I don't know. You go. Is, is Robin Hood a Disney movie? The, mm. the original, you know, yeah, one of the, yeah. the cartoon Fox yeah, and yeah, shit? Yeah, yeah, Great movie. Yeah, yeah, Great yeah. Great yeah. universe. Yeah. I thought that was and good music as well. For sure. Uh, Peter Pan. Peter Pan's a classic. Yes. A hella racist. Why? Oh. I don't remember why. Um, Tiger Lily, when she get when when she gets uh, kidnapped by the Indians, mm-hmm. the native, the native, <laughs> yeah, right. It's bad. It's bad. Like little kids going, Woo, and they're wearing, well, it's, you know, there's all types of stuff over there. It's very problematic, <laughs> as they would say. That's like I was watching the, the as they would say. There's a movie I freaking called... love that movie though. Well, it's a great movie. Yeah, I remember. I remember the f- first time I watched that movie, um, uh, I had a fever, and what happens? In the most in the in in the Dusserth household, mm. when the kid gets a fever, he gets a movie. Wow! So, mashallah, you so, guys are so my dad went you to guys are soft. <laughs> <laughs> so my dad went to no, we, it's rented. It's not okay. bought. Uh, oh, okay, so, it's a special treat, right? And then uh, so we went to uh, he went and rent a movie and he came back and slide that VHS into that thing there. Yeah. 
And then I watched, and I was transported yeah. into a new world. Mm, a whole new world. A whole new world, bro. Aladdin, number three. <laughs> <laughs> it was, it was yeah, like, you know, the whole going into Neverland and never growing up mm-hmm. and everything. For me, that just, it hit the spot right there because I was the right age to watch that. Mm-hmm. Man, it was fantastic. You were 19. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that movie's like 1980-something. My my third one is Aladdin. Mm-hmm. I like the, the cartoon cartoons better than any of the, you know, the actual nowadays graphic animation and all of that. Yeah. 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 I like a nice cartoon. Can you talk for the next 30 seconds by yourself? Yeah, man. Watch me. Watch me. All right, guys. If you guys are coming out to the next uh, Muslim Writers Collective, I think that's next weekend. I don't know if this podcast is going to be up, but me and my brother Umair Raza are going to be performing at the Muslim Writers Collective, and um, the subject of our set is going to be brotherhood. And I don't mean literally brother. I'm like literally him and I growing up, like our brotherhood. Uh, got into a lot of shenanigans, and it'd be fun to talk about. Plus, uh, Muslim Writers Collective is an awesome organization. Uh, I went to a couple of shows, got a bunch of people who actually had never performed before, got up there, and it was, it was really cool, really cool setting. A really good vibe. Steven Zhao was there. So that's always, you know, um, makes uh, you feel at home. What are you talking? What are you telling people, bro? Uh, performing at the next uh, Muslim Writers Collective. You are? Yeah. You're going to do some America. jokes? Yeah, we're going to do a set. We're going to figure out how to make it a... Uh... Actually, I tell like you about this after this. You'll like it. All yeah. right. All figure right. out how to do it properly. Well, with I'm two excited. People. What date? Uh, I believe it's the Saturday. Uh, next, uh, November 11th. I wonder when, when this is going to go up. Or 10th. Uh, These is... people might, 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 might just want to tell them like, hey, it was great. <laughs> Depending on when this goes up. This might yeah, go up was, right after that. Fantastic. Great job, bro. Fantastic. Good Thanks, job. man. It was yeah. good. I mean, you know. Great synergy up. between you and your brother. Yeah. It's like we've known each other for a while. We shared a bed for a while. Right. Oh, it's like that. That's what you do when you're poor, man. You share a bed. Yeah. You share a bed well into your teens. Oh, know? man. Yeah. Isn't that... Is that weird? Yeah, it's king size bed. No, no, it's not. <laughs> it's a big bed. <laughs> oh boy, I don't know what I'm gonna do if I get married. Probably sleep in the same bed. Yeah, I know. But like, yeah, there's something nice. Okay. B- but I think I'm getting to an age now where I'm like, yeah, I, I I'm just the way how I am <laughs> now. Yeah. And uh, I like uh, I like the way how my bed is set up. I think uh, I don't have to share it, and it uh, smells like me. Yeah. I'm good. I, I think it's adorable you think you have a choice in any of this. <laughs> I mean, currently I do. Currently, obviously. <laughs> no, currently you have no choice. Like, this is the only choice This is the have. only choice I have. I'm just saying that I'm happy with the choice that I have. Of course. Just yeah. Just you know. Yeah. Don't think it's just going to be like, well, this is how I'm going to keep liking it. <laughs> I'm not saying yes or no. I'm just saying don't think anything, bro. I know. I'm just saying. You get there. She's like, hey, I want my cat in the bed. This is what I'm used to. Mm. And you're like, mm. I mean, I'd be, I'd be down for a cat in the bed. Well, that's good. <laughs> You don't want a fucking cat in the bed, man. You roll over. The thing's mad at you. No, I mean, uh, plenty of people sleep with cats on, on do beds. Do they? Cats I have a buddy who sleeps a dog in his bed, but he's like... I don't think I could do that. It gets warm, according to him. He's just like, it's a warm creep. Like, it's... Yeah. It's a <laughs> sitting there sweating and breathing the whole time. Yeah. Yeah. Cat's fine. Maybe. You I think I've know. slept in a, on a bed with a cat before. Back in the day when I was in Mauritius, was visiting... And there was a cat, mm-hmm. and uh, I was just taking a nap. Right. Because when you're in Mauritius, you can take naps. Yeah. Which normally doesn't happen. I only take naps due to the sugar high. Mm-hmm. I would go to the <clears throat> I would go to the patisserie, and then order a shit ton of sugar. Okay. Just, you know, my eyes much bigger than my stomach. Right. And then not that you bought them all yeah right every everyone who saw you walk out and your family when you saw them when you when they saw you walk in they're like you you bought this much now you gotta eat it. <laughs> it's a it's a pride thing you can't just eat some and then roll it up and it'd be like oh this is later or then share it uh, it's like cocaine no you you do the whole thing you're doing all of it yeah and then after that you just suffer for like you four hours <laughs> wake up with a cat you yeah. don't know what happened yeah, there was a cat there cat smiling that's the first time i saw a cat up up like the claws up close mm-hmm because he yawned 
Yeah. And his claws came out. It's scary. And came back in. Yeah. You're like, oh, you're an animal. He's just he's just letting you know. Yeah. He can, yeah. <laughs> By the way, if you forgot, I'm strapped. You look into a cat's mouth and you're like, holy shit. It's got like ribs. Oh, yeah. Like, it's yeah. got ribs. It's got like layers of teeth. All of them sharp. Mm-hmm. All of them. Yeah. And you're like, I don't want to play with that at all. Dude, have you heard or do you follow that? What is it? Black cat, jaguar, something yeah. on on white panther, black jaguar, or whatever. <laughs> All right, let me see if I can find it. But you follow him? Yeah, oh. of course. Yeah, I mean, it, I it's... don't even watch that stuff, and I follow him because every now and then I'm like, he's just gonna hug a lion. Yeah, I don't know how he like what the situation. I don't know if these are rescue animals. I know he's reha- rehabbing a lot of them. Yeah. What are you looking for? Black jaguar, white tiger. Yeah, six point seven million. <clears throat> followers yeah and all he does is, uh, is is just big cats pet big cats just pet him i imagine mm-hmm. that his house must just smell like cat urine i think everything yeah. around and him it is a house yeah it is a house and like the What's whole he do the whole compound plus the house where he sleeps he probably smells like cat pee yeah he definitely smells like cat pee yeah jeez but he gets to hug jaguars and lions man does that ever get old? Probably not. Probably <laughs> I don't not. It, I don't think it does. No, it's exhilarating. Yeah. <laughs> to have something that dangerous love you. Yeah. Like roll cool. over on their on their back so yeah. you can pet their stomach. It's a good life, bro. It's a good life, bro. <laughs> and you have 6.8 followers. Right. I, mean. I got to bring this back. Yeah. Um, Orlando Bloom. No, The Incredibles. Okay. It's one of my favorites. Yes. Of all time. Great That's movie. Um... What else did I like? That's a very much a, a movie that The Rock, if they make a real live version, yeah, they can use The Rock. Yeah, it's just Mr. Fantastic. Yeah, it's just Mr. Fantastic. Is it Mr. Fantastic? No. What's the, what's the dad's? Shah Rukh Khan. <coughs> Shut up, dude. It is in the Indian version. <laughs> Indian version of Incredibles? Yeah. The voice is Shah Rukh Khan doing uh, Mr. Fantastic. How much did he charge? Like I don't know, million? but it's it's really well done. Oh, really. is he good? Oh, it's great. It's a very It's probably the best dubbing I've ever seen of a movie in my life. But wow. the mouth don't match to Urdu. Yeah, right? of course they do, because you can't tell. You can put any language there. No, they got the lips and the thing right when they like, like you. They they do they do match it's, it's it. It's hard up. to tell with animation. Right. Okay. Fair yeah. enough. Uh. Okay. The Incredibles. <coughs> what am I even looking for? I just wanted to know what his name was. I don't know. Here we go. I know. I just wanted to know what the dad names were. Oh yeah. Is name. that is it? Putty, the guy from Seinfeld. I mean, Elaine's boyfriend. You didn't watch Seinfeld. Like I could just tell. No, I did not. That's all right. It's life watch. sometimes. You watch Friends. Yeah, Mr. Incredible. Bob Parr. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's then Holly name. Holly Hunter is Elastigirl. Holly Hunter. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Samuel Jackson. Jason Samuel Lee. No Jackson. one knows. And then everyone else are people that you don't know. Fun fact. Mm-hmm. Um, Jack Jack. No, yeah. not Jack Jack. Who's the other, the other kid? Uh, freaking. Not Jack Jack. The Speedy Kid? Yeah, speedy? The speedy Kid. Dash. Right. I think I'm right. I think it's Speedy. Yeah, Spencer Fox. For them oh. to be able to get a authentic, out-of-breath mm-hmm. take from him, they told him to run around the studio. And then pulled him in and put him right on the mic. You know, you know that kid is a horrible actor. <laughs> when because... you can't, they're like, hey, can you're so bad at this. Can you just go run for a second no, so you I can do this better? No, I think that's just, uh, that's uh, super authentic, my friend. That is, that is, uh, that's You must have been doing acting. a horrible job. <laughs> just trying to fake panting. <laughs> <laughs> hey, can you stop that? It's just too much. Just go too run much. and then come back and please. Right. <laughs> I would love to be in the, in the, in the sound booth. Yeah, man. You do good. You know? Click. Okay, I just need you uh, to reel it back just a little bit. Just just reel it back a little bit. Thank you. Click. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> At this point, I just fuck with them. I just be like, I, I need a little bit more feeling, sort of like a uh, feeling that you would get uh, the morning before Christmas, but not the not the morning of Christmas. No. Just want the, the one, the day before Christmas. Day before. That feeling. Go ahead. Yeah. Click. <laughs> but at nighttime. Nighttime feeling? Can you do that? Can you? Try, please. Was that you trying? <laughs> hmm. Yo. All right. Here we go. I have yeah. another question for you. Sure. Fondest Christmas memory. Why don't you start? <laughs> all right. I don't know. I don't know if I have a specific. I know thing. I don't. All right. All right. Let me, all right. Let me tell you. Yeah. Let me tell you. Um, I always look forward to the Toys R Us toy catalog. 
Shit. That is because it happens. <laughs> it's so cool to look at. <laughs> oh my God. You never had a thing because, like, you, because, you know, we didn't celebrate Christmas, mm -hmm. but there was stuff that was happening during that time that was fun. Right, right. And that right, was one right. of those things. That's cool, man. Yeah. Toy catalogs. I think, you know what I should do? Yeah. I should buy one of the toys <laughs> that I always wanted, but I never got. You should do that, bro. You know those... Uh, you should those, live your best childhood. Those tracks that they have those cars that sit on a rail. Yeah, they, they go like fast. Yeah. yeah. That's true. Actually, I wanted one of those too. I never got one. Yeah. The thing about me was that it was never in my uh, thought that I would get something I wanted. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, dude. Like if something was on TV, I wasn't going to have it. Right. Okay. Like, <laughs> so... Like, what's the point? <laughs> Sorry, that sounds incredibly sad. That's super sad, dude. I'm like, why would I look in a catalog of things you can't have? Like, I don't understand. See, the thing is, it would be is like me having a catalog of yachts right now. <laughs> you know, just like, ooh, like, no, I'm not going to do my. I didn't get anything in that catalog either, but it was fun to look at the toys that were out that year. Yeah, okay. You know? Like, what? I was window shopping. <laughs> you were window shopping. <laughs> that, that shit was fun. Uh... I never, you, you know, the amount of times that I've been in a toys r us mm -hmm. maybe in total mm -hmm. my entire lifetime yeah maybe three times my parents just didn't bring me there bro i know i know we don't we Same. don't go there i would go there to shop for other kids yeah <laughs> that's <laughs> when i would go to toys r us <laughs> yeah. like oh this is where we shop for other kids <laughs> uh. my cousin has a birthday <laughs> but yeah as i grew up i went to toys r us way more <coughs> just really? to buy things for yeah. nieces nephews kids whatnot no i didn't even have to do that either i think the the thing i would like about christmas was uh the christmas television because every show like every comedy show every mm. cartoon simpsons what have you would have their like halloween and then christmas special yeah and that's how i knew it was christmas time because the tv was different because especially growing up in texas it's only mildly colder right so I need things to be different. On yeah, television. yeah. Over here, they definitely, you know, it's the snow and everything else. Plus, and... we used to, like, we owned perfume stores. So, like, it was a lot of work during Christmas. Mm -hmm. It was a lot of, like, long, long hours of selling perfume. What are you looking up? Uh, I heard this rumor that Michael Buble was going to... Christmas special? Christmas album? He's going to quit. Ah, whatever. I don't... Fuck Thing is, he's going to quit for like a year, maybe two, and then he's going to be like, hey, here's a Christmas special. I mean, but what is Christmas without Michael Buble? He, was, he became a fixture. Okay. Michael Buble suggests he's quitting music after his son's battle with cancer. The guy's suggesting a lot of things. Leave him alone. His son has cancer. Somebody just looking to write a story about my, Michael Buble. I don't think he's quitting music. I think Michael Buble slams son. claims he's quitting show business. Yeah. I'm not going anywhere. Yeah. You know what? I'm happy again. I was a little sad. For the last couple of days, I saw it on Instagram. I if thought I it was real. If I saw that, I would have been like super skeptical instantly. <laughs> right? Yeah, I, I, you know what? What else is he going to go do? <laughs> Starve? Like he's going to be at Circuit City or something? <laughs> you don't believe... Uh... I don't believe most things I hear. And if it can he seem... Become, he could be, become a, a beekeeper... We, we've seen make something that like beekeeper that. money yeah maybe. keep as you know <laughs> i'm sure he, i'm sure he makes he he's made coin yeah it's true that's yeah. true but he wasn't i don't i don't i, don't, I understand his uh he's a cover game. artist yeah i guess so man yeah all that stuff is i used to be big into michael buble i had all his albums not just the christmas ones yeah what's your favorite one all of this, all the Frank Sinatra stuff that he sang. It's good shit, man. Yep. But then I started listening to Frank Sinatra, and I was like, "This sounds kind of better." Yeah. <laughs> no, I was listening to Frank Sinatra today, actually. It's Why? Really good. I put on um on YouTube. I wrote in the word "covers" just to see covers, and it automatically gave me covers of songs it knew I had heard, which mm. was really cool. Yeah. Like it was like, "Hey, you heard this? Want to hear a cover?" Wow. Uh -huh. And then it put on this band called Brass Against, which is a like uh, eight people, a lot of wind instruments, and they cover metal. Yeah. Friggin' phenomenal. And then there was a Frank Sinatra cover that was really good because it was in hip hop. And then I had to listen to the original because it'd be like, oh, what was the original like? Mm. And it was fantastic. Interesting. Yeah, Brass Against, though. Brass. Re against. Really cool band. 
because they're like, yeah, a ton of wind instruments and they mm-hmm. do Raging Against the Machine, Tool, Pantera. Uh, they do Audio Slave. So it's uh, all covers, but it's, and they have female lead singers and these are like all metal bands fronted by dudes. Right. So they have, uh, and they, they use two to three lead singers depending on the song they'll they'll mm-hmm. you know have a different person for it well and they're touring right now what yeah this is the weird thing they created their youtube page 2017 early right. they're from new york and right now in january they have 22 shows in europe so yeah brass against brass check against. him out gotcha check that especially out. if you like any of those bands yeah I mean, you you had a very weird um not weird fuck but- you man <laughs> I'm not saying I, You've got a weird face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but like a uh, weird interesting, uh, interesting. It's just living. Yeah. Yeah. If I actually uh, I was told today that I cuz I you know, I like did some time in juvie or whatever. And uh white what? No, I think I already told you like I d- I missed some Spanish classes and they said, Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah they okay. make you like yeah, yeah, yeah. go to juvie okay, and like okay. mow the lawn at juvie. Right, right, right. Fair enough. And uh I was and this same person was like, "Hey, didn't you also do this? Like, it was just jujitsu?" And I was like, "Yeah." And they were like just cataloged a few things. It just seems like a lot. Mm-hmm. It's living. Mm-hmm. Just weird shit, you know? You get into metal, it's a thing. That's true. It happens. Did you get in as a result of the fact that you you know, it was a little counterculture from where you were living? Uh, no, it was just the angriest music you can have, and you were like an angry young person. It just draws you to it. And there's like good gateway bands for you to get into, right? You, like you hear a little bit of System of a Down mm-hmm. or Rage Against a Machine, and they'll trick you because they're rhyming. You know, <laughs> it sounds kind of cool, okay, but kind of okay. metal, right? But then you get like sucked into a Tool or a Pantera. Okay, and uh, that stuff's actually really cool because it's very complicated. It's like an orchestra. Like a good metal song is like a orchestra, but like with like a freaking axe guitar or some shit. So I yeah. feel like I'm not, I'm not listening carefully to metal. Oh, I don't think you could probably. Yeah, I don't think you've been exposed to metal, my friend. I, do, I have a friend of mine uh, at work. Okay, shout out to Brett. He huge into metal. Mm-hmm. So I've been asking him to send uh, send Spotify recommendations. Okay. So we'll see. We'll see. Maybe uh, maybe I'll surprise you. All right, cool. I don't expect you to like metal. <laughs> that made me laugh like a crazy person. It's a classic song, man. System of a Down, Chop Suey. Yeah. <laughs> that dog is hilarious. I'm sorry. <laughs> that dog is hilarious. All right. All right I'm going to I'll post that. I'll post that up on uh on the Facebook. Uh, I think on that note, that's a great note to end it. Right. Yeah, it's so, like dog. it's a great note. No one <laughs> no one knows what what you laughed about. Jeez. You have no idea what's going on. You can maybe tell them. What's some, what should somebody Google? I can't even. I can't I can do this. It was it, these meme things. It's a it's a dog in a tub singing chop suey. Just, Not in a tub. No, no, I'm, I'm, just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna post it on the crash and flow. I'm gonna repost it on the crash and flow. Of course Instagram, you are. People can't IG. wait. Yeah, <laughs> they it should. Out. It's funny. That's hilarious. Funny. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get better at uh, posting. I wanted stuff. to make that a challenge for next month for me. Mm. It's just like, hey, how much? How consistent can you be for thirty days? Right. Uh, because it's not in my personality to do this yep. at all. I find it so tiring. Dude, I hate tedious. half I hate the it. shit that's out there. Girls that just have selfies yeah. of this. Wait, what? Just their hand. Oh, you yeah. know, like by their face. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, oh, I, it's yeah, not I even hate, them I hate doing that things. for multiple reasons. And you see it and it has like 127 likes. And I'm not saying I'm mad. I'm just saying like... It seems like you're a little annoyed, bro. No, but it's like three of these yeah. a day. Right. And there's not a lot happening. And I'm just confused as to what the purpose of any of this is. It, th- th- it doesn't matter, man. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Every Everyone is just trying to hustle Everybody's so that they just get their followers own, and they get followers. Everybody's just their own celebrity. That's it. Just living that, like, yeah, this is me buying milk. I I, I have that on <laughs> actually, my feed. Actually, I'm just realizing there was... There's, there's someone that we follow <laughs> yeah. that you sent me the picture. You're like, why is this a thing? Yeah. <laughs> it's just a pic- it is exactly that a picture of like of a girl holding her hand to like kind of the chin. Yeah, just a little bit. And there's like 30 comments like you're the best at that. Yeah. <laughs> Mashallah. Oh my god. Yeah. Something something on fleek. And I, it's whatever, man. Whatever. Whatever makes people happy. 
but I was like, I it can't. Is, it seems a little weird, right? It's fucked up, dude. Because the thing is, is that like, okay, let's break this down for a second. Let's unpack it. Why did, why would you, okay, why did you take that picture? Well, you felt good. You felt good about yourself, mm -hmm. right? So you and you shouldn't. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Hold on, hold on. Okay. <laughs> You're going deeper into this and you know, like, nah, <laughs> you ain't doing nothing right now that nobody needs to know ever. All right. So you take a picture, you feeling good about yourself. Right. You had like a, you're having a good face day. Mm -hmm. So you take a picture. Right. You put hearts around it. And then the thing is, is that I understand if, if you know, your significant other, mm -hmm. right? Or, um, or someone that you're like, kind of talking to right now or whatnot right, right you send the picture over yeah right nah, it's got a it's got a purpose right i think that i look good i'm gonna send it to you because i think that you also think that i look good right and i also think that you look good yeah here's a picture of me yeah looking good i want to shoot all right? the people just, in the head man just, just, all just, of them just to remind Sorry. you that i look good and so we should continue to talk we should continue to talk right i get that mm -hmm. even though kind of weird but still i get that and right. I, you know, as a photographer, I appreciate pictures. I'm all right with it. But to take a picture and then post that picture of yourself, no background, no particular thing that you're doing, mm -hmm. onto Instagram with some type of motivational quote. I hate motivational quotes. Even if it's not a motivational quote, it's just like something weird, right? It's, the most asinine is, what's your favorite book? Like, <laughs> it has yeah. nothing to do with the picture. I hate all of those questions. Right? I hate, like, even, like, who wore it better? And it's a picture of them now and before. And then the comments. Yas, queen. And it's just emoticons of things. <laughs> and what I don't understand is that, so you took, you're taking a picture, you, you're, you're sharing it on Instagram so that other people can like it and comment on it. And you get a dopamine hit every time that counter goes up. Mm-hmm. That's a very bad relationship with yourself and your phone, man. That's super dangerous. Mm -hmm. Seems that way. I, it's super dangerous. Yeah. And it's because I feel weird about the fact that this times where I am so addicted to scrolling mm -hmm. that I will scroll, keep scrolling for a bit, realize that I should probably not do this because it's not good for me. Yeah. I got other things I should do. And have that realization of. 10 minutes later because you've been scrolling. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, you'll have that real, you'll have that realization three times sometimes yeah. <laughs> before you stop. Yep, because you're like, I'll just look at a couple of more. Yeah. Oh shit! It's it's. I should stop. A couple of more, and it's just like you've been doing this for ten minutes, right? and it's even worse for us because anyway. So I don't know people that 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 whole taking pictures because look, I'll tell you this: mm -hmm. I post a couple selfies. I'm not. Uh, I I generally don't. Yeah. But I post a couple selfies. Yeah. It's not. Like you, you it tell would be me, impossible. Tell me about that. It would be impossible to say yeah. that you don't feel good when people like that picture. Like mm. you, you're getting you're 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 getting positive feedback on about your face. Your face. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> right. That's, that's exactly what it is. Oh, yeah. so that means like I got the angle right. Whatever, whatever comp composition, all that good stuff. Even if whatever. Yeah. But the central focus is your face. Yeah. And then people scroll past. Or scroll to it. They saw your face. They double tapped it, and now I feel better about myself. Mm -hmm. That is a weird thing to do. Yeah, it's a weird thing to feed. It's a weird thing to feed. That's the other thing. Yeah, it's a weird thing to know that you're feeling good about something so superficial and frivolous, mm -hmm. and let that let that linger. Let that good feeling linger. I feel like it's dangerous. Yeah, this is such a fake. It's like eating a donut and feeling good. Yeah, is what I feel like. I'm like, no, good feelings should only come from doing something difficult. Something and then... better than this. <laughs> this can't be it. Yeah. I shouldn't get a good feeling off of this. Yeah. That feels dirty. That feels like jerking off, right? <laughs> Honestly, it feels like those likes. Yeah. It just feels like the cheapest, cheapest, dirtiest. I yeah. could be looking at it all wrong. Yeah. And I have friends that have literally like tens of thousands of followers mm -hmm. and they're, you know, trying to hustle and stuff and god bless him it makes me feel dirty that's all i'm saying whenever i post a picture of like you and well you, you i don't ever post a selfie no i Are only post not? like hold on a second. i literally have if you look through the whole thing maybe two selfies hold on, hold one on. is at a wedding and uh one is at a at a candy store because they said if i take a selfie they would give me free candy 
So there's chocolate in the background. Right. <laughs> yeah, see, you know, this is a healthy, I feel like it's a rather healthy person's uh, Instagram. Possibly. You know. But this is what I want to do. I want to take a month and just post as often as possible things I find interesting. Let me have a look at me. Sorry, man. It's no, more, no more problem. Important shit over here. Yeah, you got to look at yourself, man. You yeah. got to figure out how you feel about your page. Yeah. I, I you know, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was feeling myself in this picture. Hey, man, that's, that's, I def- an, I definitely that's in was. Dominican. Yeah, you know. I think you got the same shirt on. And then this one was a little bit like, I didn't have to do this. Nah, you're being a bitch there. <clears throat> yeah, but like, it's I kind of, okay. look, look, I offset it yeah. by like, if you scroll over, you get to see the food I was eating. But I didn't want to open with food. I love you, brother. I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna say nothing about nothing. <laughs> yeah, I, t- I, you know, I was feeling good about myself. Hey, day, you know, you gotta, you gotta, you know, send positive vibes into the world. Maybe see what some some girl sends you the picture of her food. You know, sometimes that's what you gotta do. You're working, man. I'm still working. You're working. You're yeah, just yeah. like, hey, signal. You know, just, uh, <laughs> every just once little, in a while, just a little flare every now and then. <laughs> Anybody see that? Nobody. Okay, I'll just be here. I'm doing my thing. Check out Crash and Boy. <laughs> yeah. It's every now and then, like, yeah, you got to send it in. Yeah. I you know, know, all of this talk, I'm, I want to have to look at it, like, see if the repertoire has got a picture of me. <laughs> Make it post, post that stuff up. All right. Awesome. Bro, thanks for driving up all late on a yeah. weekday. On a weekday? Man, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter to you. <laughs> this oh, guy does you just do showers, comes out doesn't matter <laughs> it's all right uh, no i had something else i was going into but it is what it is it is what it is yeah um all right cool so this doesn't come out this weekend it comes out the next weekend yeah. next weekend is november 9th 10th excuse me or 11th whatever so your thing has already happened yeah my thing is on the 11th or 12th so okay. um it is what it is if it catches it wait hold on how can it be the 12th that's a monday it's it's the Saturday or Sunday. I'll Instagram it and yeah, be like, okay, "Hey, be better. this is happening." I just gotta get to get with my brother and write a bit. Right, definitely eleven. I'm looking forward to that, man. Maybe I'll yeah. come out to that one. Yeah, come out. It'll be yeah. fun. All right, cool. All right, people. Thank you for tuning into the podcast. We appreciate each and every one of you. Um, what else? We'll be back in a week. Oh, we're trying to work on getting some comedians on the yeah. podcast. We've so. got like three guys that want to come. Yeah, and just like classic comics. Friggin' unorganized as shit. <laughs> yeah, hard to hard to hard to t- pin them down. Yeah, well, actually, we'll send messages right after. This. All right, so say he's gonna work on that for me, and then uh, yeah, so look forward to that. All right, people, take care of yourselves. We'll be back in a week. Good night.